So we are looking at uh, menstruation as a topic. Now we are going to go to exam uh, papers. The first one is 2021 paper 2. Okay? It's saying uh, the diagram below is a cylinder of radius 2.1 centimeters. This is our radius sign. Our radius has been given to us uh, 2.1 centimeters. And height 5 centimeters. Height, this one. This is our H. Okay, 5 centimeters. And this is our radius, uh, 2.1 centimeters. Okay? Then the person is saying, uh, calculate the total surface area of this cylinder. Taking pi as 22 over 70. They want us to use pi as what? 22 over 70. To calculate uh, this. Uh, the total surface area of this uh, cylinder, whose radius is 2.1 centimeters and height 5 centimeters. So first and foremost, we're going to write the formula we use for finding the total surface area, which is given by, you say, total surface area is equal to 2 by R, open brackets, R plus H, which is our height. Okay. So what we do is, we need to substitute now what we have been given into this uh, formula. So we've been given our pi, we've been given our pi, it's what? 22 over 7. Then we've been given a uh, radius, which is uh, r, which is what? 2.1 centimeters. Then our height is what? Uh, five centimeters. Then we will draw to find uh, the total surface area of this cylinder. Okay, with this information. Okay? So just substitute. Where there is a pi, you put the two over seven. Where there is radius, you put 2.1. Where there is height, you put five centimeters. So it's say two multiplied by pi is 22 over seven multiplied by radius is 2.1. Then you open up the brackets, radius is 2.1 plus our height is 5. Okay. Then in this case, since you're not allowed to use calculators, you start reducing these numbers. So uh, 7 can go into 21. So since 7 can go into 21, you say 7 can go into 2.1, 0 0.3. Okay, I want you to get this one. We know that I'll give an example. Let's say you have uh, this one. Uh, I'll say 12 divided by uh, 6. The answer is what? Two. The answer is 2. So 1.2 divided by 6. The answer is 0 0.2. Are you moving to where? Yes. So 21 divided by what? So 21 divided by, by 7. The answer is what? 3. Okay? Yes. So I wake up 2.1 divided by 7, the other one, 0 0.3. I want you to understand this one, right? Okay? So I wake up, uh, so it's a 7 into 7 is 1. Okay? 7 into 21 is 0 0.13. Are you moving to where? Yeah. So I'm going to multiply this. 2 times 22, get what? 40. 44 times, we have 0 0.1. Three. I will move it together. Then we can add this. Okay? You say 2.1 plus 5 gets 7.1. I will move it together. Yes. Okay? So what we have is we have something like 44 multiplied by 0 0.3. This one. Brackets are the represent multiplication line. Multiplied by 7.1. One. Yes. Okay? Now, since you're not allowed to use calculators, uh, to make our work easier, we have uh, this one is a whole number, then these two are decimal uh, numbers, okay? So the best thing you can do is uh, to take these numbers as what? As the whole numbers, okay? So I way to ignore these decimal points, okay? But take note of what you are ignoring, okay? So in this case, uh, how many decimal places in this case? We have one decimal place. Okay, one decimal place, you see? So one decimal place plus one decimal place, we have how many? Two uh, decimal places. So we are going to ignore two decimal places. Okay? Yes. 
So we're going to consider this as what? As small numbers. So it's say 44 times, writing as 0 0.3 as the whole number is 3. Times, writing 7.1 as the whole number is 71. Are we moving together? Yes. We can now multiply. So we multiply uh, 44 multiplied by 3. Okay. Do you see? So 3 times 4 is 12. You write 2 carry uh, 1, is it? Then 3 times 4 is what? 12. 12. Plus 1. You get 18. Are we moving together? So the product of 44 and what? 3 are getting what? 182. So we're going to multiply 182 by what? 7 by 71. Okay? 182 by what? 71. Okay? It just starts. So 1 times 2, you get what? 2. You get 2. 1 times 3, you get 3. 1 times 1, you get 1. How do you move it together? Yeah. Then you have what? What do we have? Seven. We have uh, 7 times 2, you get what? 14. 14. So write 4, carry forward the what? 1. one. Then uh, 7 times 3 is what? 21. 21, 21 plus uh, 1, you get what? 22. 22, is it? Yeah. Uh, is it okay? Yes. 7 times 2 is 14. You write this 4, carry forward the what? The 1. The, then you have got what? Uh, 7 times 3 is 21. Plus 1, get 22. 22. So write 2 here. Yeah. Then carry what? Carry 2, is it? Then 1 times 7 is what? Seven. Plus 2, get what? Nine. You get 9. We move it to where? Yes. Then you simply do what? Simply add. We add at this level, okay? Then you say what is uh, 2 plus 0? You get 2. Then what is 3 plus 4? Seven. You get 7. What is 1 plus 2? You get 3. What is 9 plus 0? Nine. You get 9. Okay? So this is what you are getting. But take note. Remember, we have to review how many decimal places. 2. So to our final answer, we need to take back this at decimal places, right? Yes. Okay. So taking back our decimal places, we're going to have what? So this one is the one number. So it's decimal, it's just behind the end. So you take it back. 1, 2. two. I move it together. It's therefore our total service area is equal to what? 93.172. Now, ensure that you write the units. Units are very, very important. What are we calculating? We are calculating the total surface what? Area. So area, I'm going to say, since you have centimeters, you say centimeters what? Square. This is our final answer. Are we moving together? Yes. 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 Y